So who are you for people who don't know? What is the music life? That's your record label, right? Yeah, that's my label. Started by shit. What does that mean to you? Shit, man, it just changed, man. Feel me? Make everybody believe in their own dream, you feel me? They own potential, like you feel me? And you know how we make gang banging a thing? Shit, we really gotta make music a thing. Mm. So is this something that you're hoping to use as a way to get other people to lay their eyes on things other than the streets and continue working? Hell yeah, hell yeah. That's to open their eyes to shit. They own talent. Absolutely. A lot of niggas don't know what they got, but right now it's a lot of upcoming artists, you know, pushing. So it's, it's good that West Coast is opening doors to new artists. And I can definitely see you being the individual who can find specific talents in people and be able to show them when they couldn't see it themselves. Yeah. So that's a good position for you. Have you found any people that you've found some things that you like that they didn't see for themselves? Anybody you work with on music? Um, nah, not necessarily, you know. Most of the people I work with, I'm motivated to work with. So, you know, just to have that opportunity that Work with other artists with a name, or, you know. Mm -hmm. That shit a great feeling, you know. So I'm just gonna keep it pushing for the West. You feel me? In terms of pressure applied by the, some of the names you work with, I know. What does that do for you as a songwriter? How does that motivate you to be able to work with these people? I know that first night after a studio session got to be crazy. Yeah, hell yeah, man. I be looking at it like shit. When I see other big artists willing to give me that exposure or whatever, that opportunity to work, I go out and do the same for the next people that I feel like got the way, you feel me? And Absolutely. If you pushing it, I'm gonna push with you too. And do a song with you, you know, put it out, do a video, you know. And right now in the hood, we got most of the hot artists on so We just stick it together as a whole. What's one thing that you'd want people who have never been over here to know about Rosecrans, about Westside, about Campanella, about you in general? Shit, man. The, the rewards don't come overnight, you know? Just stay focused. Don't lose uh, sights of what's in front of you, you know? Don't be fooled by the temporary shit. Just be prepared for when the big, the big, you know, the big success come your way, you know? A lot of times it'll come and we won't be ready for it and it'll be right there and it can slip right past. Mm. That's real. You gotta be on the, on the lookout for your success. Have you had any conversations with Kendrick that have stuck with you over the years? Hell yeah, every time I holler at Kendrick, it's always good shit. He's always saying inspiring words and just shit that's gonna keep you going and, you know, make you leave and go harder, you know? So, do you have anything that he's told you specifically that you remember that stuck with you? I feel like he say so much that shit. It's hard to just pinpoint some shit he say. Yeah. You, me? you just gotta always keep in mind that he watching. Yeah. Him, he always watching when you think he ain't watching. And how's that pressure for you? That shit feel good. I done had him post my project without me even knowing, without me even having to ask him multiple times. So, shit, just to see that that he willing to share his, you know, success with me. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a blessing. Really. And do you think people around here, the kids, especially young kids who are thinking about making music, do you think that what you show them can be motivating for them to go, go forward? Hell yeah, I'm sure people watch me, you know, and, and know that this could be them in the same shoes, but for the most part, it's like shit. Like, they be taking more than that too. You know? You Absolutely. gotta want it. You can't be just, oh, this person gonna make me wanna do it. You gotta wanna do it with your own self being like. They gotta walk a mile in your shoes. Yeah, sure. For sure. You know, I'm just saying like for people who wanna do this shit, you know, it can't be somebody other than you who wanna more than you. Mm. That's real. And how do you apply that to your work ethic? Is that just something you use to go crazy and keep going crazy? Hell yeah, man. Shit, sometimes I didn't even know if I was hard. Like, 
really. Mm. I just stayed dedicated and kept writing it. Yeah. You feel me? The more I start delivering more harder shit, I start getting harder the more I write. Yeah. Mm. So shit. I just keep writing, you feel me? Some shit, nigga got hard shit that a nigga done wrote and ain't even did nothing with. Nigga mm. just writing some hard shit just to know like, damn, okay, nigga really hard. Mm -hmm. you know One thing I noticed about you is uh, your hooks are always phenomenal. Your hooks go crazy on every song that you do. Yeah. Do you? I, I be inspired by like niggas like Nate Dogg and shit like, you feel me? On just some catchy shit that get stuck in your head. Like, you feel me? And sometimes I be harmonizing, sometimes I be rapping. But shit, I'm starting to like that harmonizing shit. So I'm just really trying everything. Mm. You feel me? Trying everything. Has it been interesting to watch yourself grow as an artist and change how your style is? Hell yeah, I feel like right now this is the best I done, you know, ever been. You feel me? But nigga always growing every every day in something new. But for the most part, I think I delivered the sound that I like, you know, and what I'm pushing for on every record. How is it for the homies to be able to always push you up and keep you motivated? It, that support system has to be amazing. Can hell yeah, hell yeah. One thing for sure, no matter what, what, like, you know the homies always packing it, even if they ain't, you know, willing to get in no video, no nothing. Like, you know, it's niggas that supporting behind closed doors. Like, a lot of shit you'll never know niggas really included in, you feel me? Because a lot of shit ain't to be talked about, you know? Mm -hmm. Niggas know where the real love coming from. And when it's genuine, you feel me? Absolutely. When a nigga doing it for the homies, you feel me? Even if the homies ain't a part of it, it's still about the homies. And I feel like, shit, it's a lot of shit that these niggas ain't seen, you know? Shit that we go through, you feel me? So I look at it like even when I'm writing some new shit, even if it's some active shit, I'm still going to come hard, you know, and express it, you know, in a way that niggas don't understand, but we're going to make it clear to them. We're going to help them see the shit that we spit, you feel me? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Bring it to their existence, like, you know? A lot of niggas, they ain't really went through no suffering, no pain, no, no risking your life every day, taking these chances. So I feel like by me doing that every day, that's something I'm... Something new, I'm, you know, something new that's coming to me too. Like, so I'm growing and gaining more thoughts on what a nigga need to be doing and, and if I'm doing it correct, you know, the proper way, you feel me? So I just feel like shit every day is like you bettering yourself with writing, whatever it is a nigga do. So if it's something that we didn't experience in this hood, you know, it's plenty ways I'm gonna break it down to you. You feel me? I'm gonna make it. Make it known to you that this shit is real and we can we can rap about different shit and still keep it going, you know, surrounding this, you know? No cap. With all the emerging uh, artists coming out this section, is that has that been motivation for you? Hell hell you know, like, yeah, it's like it's like I wanna see niggas at their full potential because I know when I was coming up, it was took for me to start doing certain things to get that acknowledgement and still have a nigga in your corner, but niggas gonna acknowledge it when they see you really, you know, right. at that point where a nigga like, okay, now I can tilt my hat and see you being in my shoes and right. taking it there and leading the way, you know what I'm saying? Cause sometimes I feel like I'm leading the way for all of us, you feel me? Even when you see another homie doing it, whatever, like hell yeah, nigga be happy, excited, you know? But I just feel like it's more to it. It's more shit that we gotta, Fine. We gotta figure out what that is, you know. Cause sometimes we feel like we we feel like we there and we ain't. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes we gotta wake up every day, even if we know that we got this position, and look at it like we don't have this position. You feel me? Mm -hmm. It make you go even harder. What would the 2021 NJP say to the 2015 NJP? Man, I say shit. Put what you believe in first, man. You feel me? Don't don't overthink it, man. Don't don't try to overdo your position. Don't try to be in competition with the next man. You know. 
just paved the way. Paved the way, you feel me? But shit, tomorrow ain't promised, you feel me? So for me to be here today, that opened my eyes too, you know, because I know back then, the J3 wouldn't, could possibly not even be here, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like shit. Cheers I'm moments. thankful to even be able to be at that and, to, and go through that, right. you know? And you feel me? And now niggas just look at it like shit, everything a nigga went through was worth it. Mm -hmm. You feel me? The heart, the, 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 the pain, the tears, you feel me? Yeah, the, the struggling, you feel me? Niggas don't know when you struggling, you feel me? My family still struggling. Nigga, I, I was in the hood, nigga, trying to get my mom off dope and still trying to be focused on rap. You feel me? First you know what I'm saying? Nigga, first time I got shot, I was 14, you feel me? And at that time, I felt like I wanted to rap, but I didn't have nothing. So, it's like, all right. What, what, what can I do, you feel me? Because I know the hood is always gonna have a light on us, you feel me? So, sometimes niggas don't shine that light in our direction, so sometimes we gotta take the light. Mm -hmm. And I feel like when I'm going hard, I'm taking that light to shine it amongst us, you feel me? Amongst the next niggas who really gonna take over and put this shit on their back, you feel me? Cause I feel like regardless how much I'm, you feel me, I'm mapping it out, and I'ma keep this shit on my back, you feel me? Mm. For the for the niggas that ain't died for this shit, you feel me? Niggas don't know, nigga. I'm niggas like them living through me when I rap, you feel me? Absolutely. The hood, so Absolutely. something uh That's why if you notice every song, I'm figuring out a way to not just be on some, you know, just all about the bullshit, you right. feel me? I'm letting them know like that a nigga done been through something and a nigga, you know, at that stage where a nigga know this is purpose, you feel me? To change this, the fucking motherfucking outcome and the way that niggas view it, you feel me? Back in the day, Bull told me there's no longevity in these streets and uh, that made me get to thinking just now how you setting the stage for the next one that goes after you. There's longevity in that. Yeah. You're setting longevity for the future of not only yourself, but for the whole neighborhood. And I think that's very commendable. Yeah. And I think you're on the right path with that, bro. I appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. You know, sometimes this shit can get hard. It can get frustrating. But shit, I look at it like shit. Don't nobody see it the way I see it. So long as I keep that in my mind, it's going to be always something new. It's going to be always a new opportunity, some new success. You feel me? A nigga gonna reach his peak and a nigga gonna take it there. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck what it's gonna take. Mm. Nigga gonna do that. You feel me? That's how my mindset is. You know what I'm saying? So let's go, let's go. Let's let's keep this shit going. Everybody making this shit look great. You feel me? Nigga just gotta be more united. You know what I'm saying? Nigga gotta sometimes niggas gotta stick together to really kick the dough down. Mm. You feel me? But everybody good at something. So shit, so why not? And you know, combine all this shit that we good at and go hard. Yeah. Okay. Right. And I think that's exactly what we're doing today. Yeah, that's what we're doing for sure. We're doing it, we're doing it. Shit, we done came a long way, man. We done came a long way. Now these niggas is tapping in with us. We got big artists tapping in on us, nigga, like just showing love. You know what I'm saying? These niggas be tapping in. Most of these niggas, I don't even be having to pay for features and shit. These niggas be reaching out, wanting to work with us, because we really come from that shit, mm. you feel me? The shit these niggas be pretending to be, you know, and act like, you know, they come here and, and feel like this them. But a lot of these niggas really don't go through nothing. Mm. So that's why a nigga don't get bothered by the fuck shit and this rap shit, you feel me? You can't expect rapping to keep you happy, you feel me? You gotta be the one who keep you happy. You gotta be the one who make the reason you doing it, you gotta be in love with that shit for your own reason, you feel me? You can't go in and looking for, oh, I'm trying to get this out of it, you know? Sometimes you might not get nothing, you feel me? As you see, big artists losing their lives, you feel me? All type of shit, you feel me? That shit be, that shit be having me more going on. Like, damn, what's more important, you know? Like, uh, yeah, sometimes niggas feel like the music is everything, but it's like when you looking at niggas that's big artists, every niggas going to jail, niggas ain't getting out, niggas doing time, niggas just getting, you feel me, indicted. 
Niggas is getting killed. Niggas is getting uh, home invasions and getting killed. Motherfucking all type of shit. So that shit make a nigga think like, damn, is it meant? Maybe at some point it was gonna be meant, but is it really meant for it to happen that soon? You know what I'm saying? So a nigga don't get impatient. Nigga don't get to the point to where a nigga feeling like, damn, this ain't enough. Like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm in a good position, a good situation. I'm probably doing better than a lot of artists. I ain't got nobody controlling me. I ain't on nobody, you know, contract. You feel me? So I'm able to do this shit however the fuck a nigga want. But once a nigga figure out the thing that a nigga need to do to really take it there and, you know, receive something back from it, then that's when a nigga gonna get to that point. You know Hell yeah. So now we just gonna keep kicking the dough down. We gonna make them respect it, where we coming from, you know, and what we been through. Yeah. That's real. Keep keep making a seat for the table. That part, man. They gonna have to give us the whole table. Right? Yeah, y'all earned it. Y'all earned the house. We figuring that out. We figuring out how to own the table, and then we pick and choose who come and sit at it. You feel me? That's real. That part. And it's not a regular cameraman either. No cat. <laughs> Saying a regular motherfucking cameraman, man. Got my boy in here, nigga. You know. Uh, is there anything that you have dropping soon you want people to know about? Uh, hell yeah, I'm working on a project with the nigga Street Symphony. Uh, he from Memphis, like Tennessee. I done, uh, he done did shit with Nipsey, hustling mother pain. Worked on some of his shit. He got a Grammy for that shit. You know, so we just collaborating on a project. I've been flying to ATL, you feel me, putting it together and working and doing everything we gotta do so we can start putting that shit out. You know, we just gonna come out with a date probably sometime in October or something, hopefully. For sure, we looking forward to that. Yeah. All right, well, thank you for taking the time to sit down with us today. You know, West West, nigga. Thanks, shit. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you.